You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the What's dream. What's going on, Team Family? Look, I'm right back with another great video. If you're new to the Strength Team Family, Welcome to the Strength Team family. All we do over here is get gains. If you have any video suggestions or any video requests, all you gotta do is put them at the bottom and I promise you we're gonna make that video happen. Make sure you swing by and check out the new Strength Team clothing line apparel. I got something for him, I got something for her. Not just wanna sit here and blow your head up talking about clothes, but make sure you check it out. I guarantee I have something that you wanna like. What we have today is it's a bodybuilding type of shoulder workout. I say that because a lot of people is gonna say that it's too much much is it's overtraining it's not I'm telling you my shoulders were pumped I ain't even gonna say that I'm gonna let you see it so let's jump straight into this workout our first exercise we have the dumbbell shoulder press we have six total sets and this is how I want your reps to go make sure you're adding weight every single set our first set we chose a challenging weight for 15 reps then our second set we chose a challenging weight for 12 reps our third set we chose a challenging weight for 10 reps our fourth set, we chose a challenging weight for eight reps. Now, this is where the fun comes, and this is where it's really going to get challenging mentally and physically. So your fifth set is going to be a drop set. So I want you to choose a heavy weight for you to get six reps. Immediately, after you get those six reps, drop that weight down, pick up some lighter dumbbells. Now you're going right back in there with minimum rest. Now I want you to get another 10 reps. This right here within just five sets had my shoulders on Fire. Your sixth and your last set is going to be a double drop set. So again, choose a heavy weight for you to get six reps. Immediately after you get those six reps, drop the dumbbells, pick up a lighter pair of dumbbells. Now you're going right back in there and you're going to get 10 reps. Now, after you get those 10 reps, you're going to drop those dumbbells. Now you're going to pick up a lighter set of dumbbells and now you're going to get 15 total reps. 150% gain certified. Now, if you're a beginner, honestly, that's enough work for your shoulders for the whole entire workout. But listen, this is a bodybuilding type workout, so we got a lot more to do. Now, our second exercise, we have the seated dumbbell side raises. We have six total sets. I know y'all like, what is up with this man with all these sixes? What happened to the twos? What happened to the threes? We're doing multiplication today. Two times three is six. <laughs> your first and your second set, choose a challenging weight for you to get 20 reps. Now your third set, choose a challenging weight for you to get 15 reps. Now your fourth set, choose a challenging weight for you to get 12 reps. Now your fifth set, you should know by now, it is a drop set. So it's gonna be one of your heaviest sets. So choose a challenging weight for you to get six to eight reps. Immediately after you get those six to eight reps, drop those down to some lighter dumbbells. Now you're gonna pump out 12 more reps. Your side delts are going to be swole. Your side delts are just gonna look so full. You're gonna feel great on this workout, I promise you. Now, your sixth and final set, it is a torture set. It is a seven by seven by seven. So what we're gonna do is, you're gonna choose a weight that is challenging for you to get seven reps immediately after you get seven reps if you're blessed with the workout partner they're going to add pressure as you push it up and lift it up maybe like 12 inches away from your body stay in that position where you can feel that tension on your side delts and push against your workout partner as they push uh, pressure down towards you your side delts are just going to be screaming but hold that for seven seconds after you get seven seconds you're going to pick your dumbbells right back up now you're going to do another seven reps it's going to get more and more challenging but i promise you your mind is strong just keep on pushing through and you're going to get it so after you get those seven reps now you're going to drop the dumbbell again and your workout partner is going to put that same pressure on you and you're going to hold that position where your side delts are under under that tension and just hold it for another seven seconds after those seven seconds are up you're going to pick the dumbbells up one last time you're going to do seven more reps and after you finish your seven reps drop the dumbbells one more time you're going to go right back halfway up Push it up as hard as you can as your workout partner is pushing you down, and you're gonna count for another seven seconds. This right here is gonna have your side delts feeling ridiculous. Like the pump was so intense. When I was finished, no joke, like it felt like my arms was just flying. Like I was I wasn't even trying to, I'm serious, you have to try to see what I'm saying. Now, a lot of y'all are gonna run into the problems you train alone. So what you can do is, if you don't have a workout partner, after you do your seven reps, just choose a lighter set of dumbbells. You're gonna do the exact same thing. So bring those dumbbells halfway up and hold and count for seven seconds. Just do it just like that and you're still gonna make the exact same gains. And after finish with that, we have the seated dumbbell front raises. And we're gonna do it the hammer style. What I mean by that, you're gonna do it with your thumbs up. We're only gonna do four sets because technically you've already hit your front delts, but when my front delts are lagging a little bit that's why I always give it a little bit more attention now choose a challenging weight on your first and your second set for you to get 15 reps 
Now your third set, choose a challenging weight for you to get 12 reps. Now your fourth set is gonna be another torture set. That's why I say this is bodybuilding. This workout is designed for people that are serious about their gains. Like if you're just kind of playing around, this workout ain't gonna be for you. Midway through it, you're like, nah, it ain't for me, I quit. I don't wanna do this, it's not that serious. <laughs> but if you're serious about your gains, you're gonna love it. So like I say, the fourth and the final set is gonna be a torture set. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a dumbbell. You're gonna hold it straight up, keep your arms straight. Try to make sure that your thumb is in line with your shoulders, that way you keep that tension on your front deltoid. Now, with your other arm, you're gonna perform 10 reps. Oh my gosh, the burn is real. Just doing this without no weight showing y'all the burn is coming back, I remember it. So after you get 10 reps, now you're gonna hold this one. Now you're gonna do 10 reps with your other arms. I'm telling you, the pump and the burn is just ridiculous. Now, after you get 10 reps, now you're gonna do 10 reps with both arms at the same time. Now, you know I always keep it real with you. I could not get 10 reps. I think I did like three, and then I had a rest for maybe like five seconds. Then I think I got another three, and then I had a rest for like another or five to ten seconds and then I went back in there and finished my set listen these three exercises right here are more than enough for a complete shoulder workout my shoulders were just maximally pumped but we still got our rear delts we're gonna do two more exercises and pair them together for a superset just so we can get in and get out and be done so we're going to superset the standing dead stop cable face pulls with the rear delt fly machine so what I mean by dead stop I want you to choose a weight that is very very challenging let's say for an example if you can normally do 70 I want you to do like 80 or 90 or even 100. You're going to use a little bit of momentum, but at the same time, you're going to focus on the contraction. Like you're seeing in the video, I'm stopping every single rep. So you can see I'm slightly pulling back. That way I'm activating my rear delts and then I pull it back. Now once I'm all the way back, now I'm gonna hold it for at least one second and then I'm gonna let it come back out slow. Then it's gonna be a dead stop. There's no more tension on me or nothing. So I pause for maybe like one second. I slightly bring my arms back a little bit to activate those rear delts and then I pull it right back and I hold it for another one second. I want you to do this on every single rep. When you're coming back, as you see when I come back, I literally hold it for at least one to even two seconds. And also when you're bringing it back in, do not just let the weight just jerk out your hands. Literally try to count one to even two seconds and then stop. This right here is gonna make sure you're gonna get the most out of this exercise. Now, immediately after you get your eight to 10 reps, I want you to go over to the fly machine. Now you're gonna do 20 total reps every single set. It's only three total sets, but these three total sets are gonna feel like nine. I love supersetting these two exercises together because it's just the craziest pump that you can ever imagine in your rear deltoids. Now, when you're doing your flies on a machine, normally I tell you to go through a full range of motion, but since you already did an exercise that was full range of motion, now I just want you to do maybe like 70%. So don't bring it all the way in. So come out a fourth of the way, now go all the way back and contract. Now bring it right back and stay a foot apart. Every single time that you come back in front of you, make sure that your hands are standing at least 12 to 18 inches apart. That way you're gonna keep maximum tension on those rear delts. Now, like I always tell you, I did not get 20 reps every single set consecutively. I think on my first, second, and third, I stopped around like 10 or 12, and then I rested for maybe like 10 seconds, and I went right back in our stream team. And what did I do? You already know I finished my set, and that is it. This workout right here was just brutal. This is my type of workout, it's high volume. I feel like I get the most out of it. It's how I train most of my life. But at the end of the day, I know a lot of people can't. So that's why I always try to bring just a lot of variety and a lot of different styles and exercises for everybody. That way the beginners can get gains, the intermediate can get gains. I mean, the advanced can get gains, even the elite can get gains. It doesn't matter what type of fitness level you own, I'm gonna make sure that you are getting gains too. Women, men, children, kids, it don't matter. We all want to get them gays. But like I tell you in every single video, strength team, make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. But at the end of the day, make sure you keep getting them gains. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream.